The U.S. is about to feel the true effects of late fall as Super Typhoon Nuri, a storm even stronger than Superstorm Sandy that caused this damage, makes its way through the extreme northwest portion of the country. NBC's Al Roker took the angle of fascination as he did his vortex dance. And this is what's so great about weather. I mean, everything is interconnected. We've got the strongest storm on the planet right now approaching the Aleutian Islands. Once the storm hits Alaska, the polar vortex is expected to drop south and cut right through the heart of Canada and the U.S., dropping temperatures significantly next week. But when analyzing the strongest storm on the planet, the default coverage seemed to center around two things, the comparisons to Sandy, we already mentioned, and trying to tell how the storm will affect the ships from a popular TV show, Discovery Channel's crab fishing reality show, Deadliest Catch. And they deal with some big storms, big waves. They'll fish through some of this stuff. I mean, look at some of those waves. Just imagine a four-story building. That's how high the waves are going to be. Just unbelievable stuff this week in the Bering Sea. ABC also contacted the captain of one of the crab boats, Sig Hansen, who is already fishing in the Bering Sea for the fall season of King Crab. No, I'm playing uh, Russian roulette. And at the same time, we're worried that this thing is going to change directions and come at us. And then what do you do? And so we are fearful because we do want to get in. Pop culture references aside, the weather world has been tracking Typhoon Nuri for some time, even before it threatened Japan. The Washington Post's weather blog, Capital Weather Gang, reports the storm could cause record conditions in the Bering Sea before having an effect on the lower 48 states next week. For Newsy, I'm Cliff Judy.